Who is Jesus to you? In other words, where do you let him take control of in your life, or do you even let him take any place of authority or sovereignty in your life? I want us to seriously think about this question tonight. Lots of times I find myself uh, putting him in the wrong places in my life. I catch uh, myself using him as a crutch that I fall back on, uh, that I fall onto um, when I put my faith in myself and not in him, when I'm faced with temptation or big decisions. Oftentimes, some of the only time I go to him is when I'm scared or feel alone, um, instead of all the time, every living second. Let's take a look at what the Word of God says he is in our lives and what he should have control of in our lives. Turn to Matthew chapter 28, and I'll read verses 18 through 20. Matthew 28, verses 18 through 20. Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 through 20. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. All authority has been given to Christ under heaven and on earth, uh, which means in our earthly lives. Um, even if we don't give him control in our earthly lives, in the end he will be the judge of our actions. In other words, Jesus is king over all, so we can choose to let him take control of our lives and receive salvation by the grace of God, or we can uh, put him in the back seat when we are faced with temptations or big decisions in our lives. Turn to John chapter 14 and verse 6. John chapter 14 and verse 6. John chapter 14 and verse 6. Jesus said to him, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. None receive salvation by living the life they want to live. Only by placing Jesus in the position of king in your lives will grant you salvation. Only going on the path of God and making your soul focus in life um, and seeing him as king and obeying will lead to heaven. Let's look at how to do this um, easier. Uh, there's four points that I want to say. Realize, number one, realize you are living in a world overwhelmed with darkness and that Jesus is the only light. Number two, realizing that we are all deserving of eternal punishment for the sins we commit, and he is the only way of being saved. Number three uh, is that Jesus was full deity before he put on corruptible flesh. He was not just a lowly carpenter. Uh, he is King Jesus. And number four, uh, go to Galatians chapter 2 and verse 20. Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. It is not our lives to control, uh, but Christ who lives in us. One of the reasons uh, we fail so much is oftentimes, oftentimes we fail to think of the outcome of our actions. If we look back to the garden when Adam and Eve uh, chose what looked good in the moment to them and not what God had commanded, it brought upon spiritual death. Every time we make the decision we want to um, and sin, it brings upon death and spiritual separation from God, from God. But if we put Christ as head in our lives, he will bring eternal life. If you have not made the decision to be buried and baptized in baptism with him, for the remission of sins, and to see him as head over your life, or you have previously, or you previously have, but turned away from him. Come forward as we stand and sing. <laughs>